Hi Radhika, hi Shivam. Hope you guys can hear me now. Great. Guys, I'm waiting for other students to join in. Uh, let's just wait for five, for five more minutes and then we will start this session. Okay.
Okay, guys, uh, can you see my screen? Radhika and Shivam, I have shared my screen. Great. So, guys, I would like to know what do you understand by CRM? What do you understand by the term CRM? Yeah, yeah, that's written, Radhika. <laughs> it's right there. Anything else you know about this? How to deal with customers? How this system will help you to deal with them? Customers are really tough, you know. It's very difficult to deal with them. Their data, okay, okay. Any example? Shivam, you want to add on something here? Mm -hmm. Right, Shivam, yeah, you're somewhere around their taste and their preferences. Exactly, that matters a lot. Exactly. Consumer behavior. Okay, okay. So that must be ERP system, Radhika which you might be using it, yes. Uh, ERP and CRM, both are different. Okay, yeah, ERP, which is Enterprise Resource Planning. ERP. ERP, mostly people get confused with both, but these both are different systems. Enterprise Resource Planning. I'll tell you the difference between both, okay? How we can attach to a customer, are we listening to them or not? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So guys, uh, you know, CRM is used everywhere whether you have the software or not, but still CRM is there, like relationship is there, right? Why do we go to same barber? Why do we go to same barber? Because he understands our, you know, requirement. He understands us, what suits us. So he will give us the same, the haircut, which really suits us. That's the reason we visit the same barber again and again. Do you agree with me? Because he understand my requirement. Yes. So the companies who really understand our requirement, we will visit them only, right? We will not visit to that company who doesn't understand my requirement. Okay. So if barber shift, like if your barber gets shift from your area to another area, you will definitely miss that barber, right? And you really want to visit that particular barber only because he understand your requirement. Okay, so that is again a customer relationship. He is maintaining that relationship with us. You know, if the software is not there, that doesn't mean the requirement is not handled, you know. But at company level, definitely, you know, there are so many clients they have to handle. They can't remember each and everything about one particular customer. That's the reason customer relationship software exists where they can capture all the nitty gritties and details of the customer within this software. Okay. So I'll tell you the example here, guys. So let's say there are two companies, one company A and the other is company B. Okay. This company A is without CRM. They don't have CRM system. And this company B has got CRM with CRM. Okay. So now what will happen? Let's say now I will approach to company A. Hi, we know welcome to the session. Today we have a session on CRM technology. Okay. Exactly. They do ask uh, the feedback from their customer. So let's say uh, without a CRM company, what will happen guys? I keep on, uh, you know, let's say I have contacted uh, this company, A, right? But, and I was communicating with their sales rep. 
sales representative you might be aware in companies there might, there are number of sales representatives right so for example if you call airtel you get to meet one sales representative right and let's say that sales representative is on leave right now when i call back again when i will call back again they will again ask me all the questions they will again ask me about myself and all the details right whereas if i go to company b with crm which they have crm in that case if one sales rep on leave also then also if i'm talking to another sales rep they get to know all my details from crm system okay so guys what happened when you call to airtel for your support query uh, they will uh, you will call them they will take your call they know who are you what plan you are using they have got all the details of you when you paid last time okay and how did you make the payment what broadband connection you are using how much data you have consumed right all the details they have your home address your date of birth everything they have in their system so if you get to speak to one sales representative right you will not get to speak with the same representative again agreed and still they know all the information about you how because they are using crm clear make sense radhika and shivam and meenu okay so guys i'll tell you first the exam uh, the difference between crm and this erp guys uh crm guys is this system where you capture all the details of your client of your customer okay whereas this is for external okay external touch bases it is not only restricted to i would say customer you can also capture all your partners information partners with whom you are dealing your vendors you can capture your vendors data your suppliers you can capture all these areas like customer partner vendors suppliers within crm system okay whereas guys in erp it's a resource planning system guys in erp you take care of internal things internal like your employees information your employees data your employees uh, leaves and all right make sense and erp also takes care of the accounting part accounting part which crm doesn't take care of that crm doesn't take care of accounting erp takes care of the employees information their salaries their everything will be maintained in erp and also if the customer has placed an order it will come in erp okay after customer like you know there is a complete cycle here in crm which is which i have already told you one is lead to opportunity and from opportunity to customer okay once the customer is has become your customer once your lead has become customer then its all information will flow in erp and the order processing will be done from erp if you place an order that processing will be done from erp clear the difference is clear between erp and crm guys okay so basically crm is nothing but it caters all your requirements of your client 
Yes, mostly ERP is for employees, internal employees, which is enterprise resource planning. Resource is your internal resources. Okay, either uh, wherever you are spending your resource planning, you know, your employees on which you are spending, that all information will come in the ERP. And ERP also take care of the accounting part. And once the customer, once your lead has become the customer, right, then that order will flow in ERP. But the whole process of becoming, of making customer, of making lead to customer that will handle in CRM. And after that, once the customer is on board, then it will become ERP, come into ERP. Okay, in your college also every student has its own ERP account, like college has the ERP account. Yes, you can log in into your college ERP system and you can see exactly your results and you will not call it ERP again I would say that is CRM I would say and that is a portal actually not not I would not say that is CRM or ERP it's an online portal where college has given you an access to uh, you know access to uh, access that system and look for the results and assignments and all you probably be uh, getting some assignments also over that Yes, yeah, so that is called student portal guys Mostly colleges has have this now, okay, it's not related to ERP uh, It's mostly related to CRM. I would say and once you become the customer, like many companies, they have, you know, their partner logins, their customer logins, right? Like if you go to uh, Amazon, right? The, you have the login. You can, yeah, Flipkart, Amazon, Snapdeal. You can log into their system. Like they will give you a portal, right? And you will log in and you will make a purchase, okay? For that point, you are customer for them. And once you made the purchase, the order is placed, your only order, order details will be captured in CRM, but your all other information guys will be captured in CRM. You getting me? So all these, all the, both these systems like CRM and ARP are integrated. In all the big companies, they do this integration, CRM and ARP. Right, ERP uh, like SAP ERP do have you know a small CRM part, but it's not that wide. But mostly companies, what they do if they are buying CRM, they buy the same uh, the ERP from the same company so that they can integrate easily, and both will be integrated once the customer is on board. Right, if once the customer has placed the order, all its detail will automatically flow in ERP, and order will get registered within this. ERP system, which you can also see within CRM, the number of orders that person has placed in the amount he has spent, all that information will be visible in CRM. CRM is also, it's like front end guys, CRM is front end and ERP is the back end. What happens with the back end? This is all back end and this is front end guys. Clear? Yes, in CRM, you can see uh, if both the systems are integrated, Shivam, if both the systems are integrated only, then you can see the number of orders that is being placed by this customer. Okay. CRM is front end and ERP is back end. So now I'll tell you who use CRM and who use ERP. CRM is basically used by sales team. Who fills in the information in CRM system? Sales team of any organization.
so nowadays guys many companies has that uh, you know uh, condition if you know crm they will hire you you might get to see in the uh, you know jd also job descriptions of sales person you can go visit a nokri.com or uh, you can see the jds of sales people there is the condition which is mentioned have like worked on crm system have you guys ever noticed Shivam Radhika Vinu, no, okay. So, uh, why sales team has to use here, guys? Any idea? Any guesses? Save time, okay. What else? Radhika says to save time. Yeah, of Delhi, okay, to maintain the record of customers. Mm, okay. What else? Any more guesses? To make lead. To make lead, okay. Okay, so guys, why CRM? Uh, so firstly, I tell you how it works. Okay, record of customers that are more important. Um, okay, I will come to that point. Uh, before that, I would tell you what we are doing in digital marketing, guys. What we are doing digital marketing? Why are we learning digital marketing? What purpose? can be solved through this what we want to achieve through digital marketing i want the answer for this first what's the purpose traffic and traffic will lead us to what earning traffic management of what radhika earnings how earnings shivam earnings like how Find good leads, exactly. Find good leads. Management of leads and traffic. See, Radhika, first of all, you can't manage anything from digital marketing, right? You will not able to manage your leads. However, you guys will only be able to generate leads through your digital marketing you guys can generate leads right through any marketing effort through any advertising effort guys you can only generate leads correct agreed guys you can only generate leads you can't manage them and uh, it's not related to management traffic i agree you can generate traffic which will actually lead to getting your lead generation right okay So guys, digital marketing basically helps you to generate leads, okay? So what all efforts you are going to put here in digital marketing, you are marketing your product, your services, you are generating awareness about your brand, about your product that you are offering amongst your target audience, right? And that is just to generate leads. Okay, this will actually help you to generate leads, right? If the traffic will increase, that means number of leads will increase. Traffic which comes to your website, you will ask them to fill in the form or register on your website, subscribe, download, whatever the action you want them to take. That will help you to get the leads, right? So guys, digital marketing will help us to generate leads once the lead gets generated guys then crm comes into picture okay after this once the leads get generated you can put all your digital marketing efforts to generate leads and once the leads get generated crm system comes into picture right all those leads will get recorded in crm make sense 
either you guys generate through digital marketing or you generate through offline marketing like you can participate in exhibition in exhibition you can buy third party database by third party database you can buy database right the leads database like surveys and all exactly or you can run radio ads tv ads newspaper ads whatever all traditional way of marketing so guys these will all help you to generate leads all your marketing effort all your advertising will help you to generate leads and once the lead is generated that will come to crm you know many companies have got this functionality whosoever comes on their website and fills in the form so let's say the traffic has come on the website so who so ever comes on the website and fills the form that person information that person information will auto magically gets saved within crm within crm that is called web to lead web to lead in crm language we call it web to lead okay so whosoever comes on your website fills the form their information will automatically come and save in crm as a lead guys okay that is called web to lead all the companies does this to track and uh, you know receive all the leads in one basket of crm okay also guys even google adwords all these campaigns which we do on facebook people are integrating that also with crm okay so once that lead comes into crm guys it's recorded in crm okay now what happens once it has come to crm after that it will be assigned to a sales representative who will take that forward who will take that forward okay find good uh, i am at a little all those leads which will get recorded in crm and it will be assigned to sales rep so guys why we assign all these leads to sales representative and why we want sales person to use crm so because first of all save time i understand this because if the information is there all the information is there then definitely the time will be saved to maintain the record of customers exactly to maintain all the details of customers at one place okay now the most importantly guys now companies have got number of sales representatives right from five represent small companies might be having two three four five representatives but you can man think of big companies who has got more than hundreds of sales representatives how will that be managed how company can track all the all their data what sales representative is doing whether uh, they are making uh, creating all the leads in this system or not whether the leads are getting converted or not we need all that tracking right it's not that we have just assigned that to sales representative that's the task is finished we need to track ceos coos they need all the information what is happening team leaders wants to know whether the team is working up to the mark or not the leads are getting converted or not and if not what's the reason behind right agreed so crm system basically help to track the sales team majorly most importantly most important function of crm is to track the sales team 
you know earlier what used to happen people used to create reports in excel but now companies don't accept the reports in excel sheet they see all the reports in crm system they see all the information at crm so in crm it's all updated at what status this particular lead is when uh, it is expected to get converted what is the reason it's not getting converted and when uh, you can think like sales representative has to enter when they expect that expect that when it will be closed and if it is not closed what's the reason and why it is lost if it is lost to competitor they have to mention it is lost to competitor and which competitor so ceos will get all those reports from crm they can track all their sales representatives through crm otherwise there is no other system from which they can track make sense guys radhika shivam vinu see yes customer care number uh, they might be using crm or might not be using crm because for customer care support there are other help desk system which are available okay mostly they might be using crm but uh, there are chances it's not 100% true that they might be having it only uh, they might not have it they can only have customer support only okay but mostly they do have like companies like us also we are not a large sale company like dm patchala we do have crm which is zoho crm guys i'll just show you how it looks like so before showing you that i will first explain you all the modules it has modules of crm i don't know gorav hasn't joined in he has requested for this training anyways guys this uh, modules of crm there are three major modules of crm guys one is the marketing second is the sales third is the support okay guys marketing here you can just manage your campaign right you can create a campaign you man you can manage the campaign you can set the budget and you can track the actual cost that's it okay so marketing will help you in that way so telecallers basically mostly in crm uh, campaigns which are for telecallers you know that is all captured from crm so let's say we have got a database for 1000 leads okay 1000 leads data we have got now 1000 leads have been distributed amongst 10 telecallers okay all those leads we have imported that data in crm okay and created a campaign and system will automatically divide automatically divide those number of leads to 10 telecallers okay so each telecaller will get 100 leads okay and now when telecaller will start calling from they can they will keep filling the information in there in the system only the response they have got from the client okay so uh, when they start calling uh, they will see the screen dial the number and whatever customer say whatever response they will get they will fill in the response give the details and then close it there clear guys this is how marketing team uses crm mostly used for telecallers where you can distribute the number of calls to each telecaller and you can track the response of the calls okay and you can see the actual calls they have made and number uh, the conversions they have got the response they have got the opportunities which converted to opportunity and which actually converted to customer so that reporting you can get from here okay then guys sales team as i told you sales module guys here you have lead management in sales where you can manage all your leads you can capture all the details of your lead details of your 
lead and the status like when you expect that lead will get close okay and what status or stage that lead is whether uh, that person has actually uh, you know interested or not you have made the call or not whether call is being received by the client or not whether you have met the client in person or not if you have met then what's the status of that all that you can capture here and your ceos your team leaders your managers will see the reporting from here in the crm okay then guys you have support system support management which is case management we also call it case management we also call it service ticket management there are number of names each crm has got different name help desk these are the names for support case management service ticket management and help desk here guys all the queries of customers are recorded and also guys if the query doesn't get resolved within the time duration within the specified time duration then it will be escalated also to the higher management so that higher management can so that higher management can take action why it is not get sorted till now okay so higher management can take action and also they can track the number of queries number of you know uh, issues which are reported by customer in a day in a month in a week and how many are sorted and how many not get not been sorted till yet and what action do they need to take to resolve each and every query so guys now you see the response is so quick right even you if you approach to any bank if you approach to any service provider the response is very quick right agreed yeah so these are the three modules in crm clear guys till here shivam binu radhika hashim okay so now i'll show you zoho crm and i'll show you how we capture the details so guys right now uh, this crm is under process like it is not completely created i still need to invest some more time to complete this so guys so this is the dashboard that you get to see and here you can see the leads these are the existing leads but if you want to enter yeah to some extent it is free also but this one is the paid version we do in free you can create only i think 2000 to 5000 contacts uh it is for uh, i believe i don't Oh, I remember now the pricing. Let me just check. Not that expensive pricing. So yeah, this is seven twenty ones, the standard one we have got per user and monthly bill for one user. It's seven twenty every month. Okay. so guys as you can see here this is the lead form all the information which we can capture is the lead source we can see from where the lead has come whether from facebook ad google ad cold it's a call so lekha employee referral youtube student referral trainer referral so these are the source because this help us to see which source is most ex, uh, you know effective so that we can track which source is very effective and we can work towards that source okay and here you can capture whether student interested in face to face session or online session lead for which area these uh, we have institutes in these areas right so we can capture in which area the student is interested location rating we can rate whether this lead is hot warm or cold okay so we can rate that we can assign lead to our existing team here okay 
and here you can see all the contact details of the student mobile phone number skype id email secondary id other details like qualification whether they have attended the demo or not on which date they have attended the demo we can capture that whether they are looking for a job or not okay we capture this because we need to see how many students are actually looking for jobs so that we can help them okay we can capture the referral details if they have come from any referral clear guys make sense and now from here i can track you know the number of leads which are generated through different yes radhika we do help in jobs also yeah okay thank you and we can i can see like how many leads converted by preeti nisha nidhi each of these people like you know the sales person who are, who are working right i can see track their in data whether they are capturing all the information here or not so i can import also you know right now i don't use contacts we only use contacts here these are the contacts that we capture we can filter the information and capture it okay making sense guys and the home page guys you can see and also guys majorly you can track each and every activity of your sales person activities activities like number of calls made by him calls made number of appointments done sorry uh -oh. number of appointments done and also number of uh, documents shared whether document is being shared or not so all these activities also you can track most importantly sales rep can set their complete calendar for a month's time for two months time and system will also send them the reminder messages okay the reminder will be sent either via email or through sms but for that sms integration is required guys and for email also email integration is required okay system will send emails and uh things or uh, sms if uh the uh, before the appointment as a reminder or notifications okay so guys coming back here you can see so now if i show you the existing lead for example this is the existing lead and now i'm working on this lead right i want to change the status right i will click edit and can you see attempted to call contact he says contact in future contacted but contact is done and not interested interested you can change to in the interested or you can see demo attended or not demo attended not contacted lost lead which is not interested or junk lead okay so guys here you can see the this will make our complete funnel the funnel will be made from this and from funnel i can see how many are there who says contact us in future how many with whom the contact is made how many says yes i am interested but the demo has not been taken and demo is being attended right 
after demo attended then we take this lead to the opportunity level guys okay because now we see the value from this lead and when we see the value from the lead we will take that to opportunity and opportunity we also call it potential in zoho crm we call it potential whereas in other crm we call it opportunity clear guys makes sense so you can see here only uh, five leads which are created today right and i'll just show you how we can create a test lead let's just create a test lead first name test last name test source i can select facebook ad or any uh, you know source which i feel who customize these fields as per the business requirement there are business analyst guys who does this and if you know crm then definitely you can do it yourself i know crm i can do it if you learn customization you can customize system as per your requirement i'll show you the admin section also how you can edit and it's quite simple okay i'll give you a glance of that okay so yes this is the front end and then here i can capture whether the student is interested online or face to face session okay if online i will not cap i can only capture the address and rating i can say yes hot i will get converted okay and lead status contacted right now okay and i can capture other details mobile is mandatory guys so i'll enter mine here okay because if they don't have if the sales person doesn't have the mobile number will not treat that as a lead we need to have a lead with mobile number we can make email address also as a mandatory okay and then i can save it assign to let's say preeti for example assignment also very important guys and now you can see here the lead is saved i can change the date i can now say this person has attended the demo and i can save this particular column okay from here and once it is saved guys now in my business right every business has different milestones every diff, uh, business have different parameters right how they consider when the lead will get convert to opportunity or into potential right so in my case if the person has attended the demo then that will be considered as a potential or opportunity okay because he has given his time to attend the demo that is the criteria for my business and now here i will convert now i will convert this to potential guys i'm already working towards here in potential columns doesn't match much so don't worry about that so here you can see the columns which is auto populated which is the name closing date i have to give by when i feel this person will close okay the expected date this depends on the sales representative and stage i can change so you can see here guys the stages will change now at the opportunity level so demo attended need to attend demo again because there is a criteria like people wants to attend demo twice or any other class twice right so if the person says i want to attend the demo again so we can check this he will say join in future i will check this or if he is negotiating like he he feels the payment is more he wants to negotiate we'll check this negotiation closed like it is one or full payment received there are chances that we take full payment partial payment closed as lost or close to competition like close to competition we have lost this to competitor clear guys can you see this these milestones have changed so guys through this only our sales funnel will be built 
I can check how many has converted from how many we have received full payment from how many students we have received partial payment, how many is left, whether we have lost the student, whether we have lost to competitor, decision maker, he's not able to like he's not a decision maker, probably his parents are the decision maker. And then uh, the proposal price would be um, nothing to do this, with this. Clear guys? So I can say need to dem attend demo again. Location is okay. Uh, Delhi, I would say Lanzabad because it's an online. So I will convert. Okay. So this lead is converted. Now I can go to potential guys and here you can see this test which is converted and this is at this stage. Okay, and if I want to filter, you can see here, I can filter, I want to see all the students who wants to attend the demo again, I can filter this, right, and apply filter. So here I will get the information of all those students who wants to attend the demo again. So can you see how helpful this system is? And it makes our life so easy. Otherwise, it's very difficult for us also to track our sales team. The number of calls they are making, whether they are able to reach the students or not, what response they are getting because, you know, earlier they were Excel only. But here you can see all the information in one window, guys. You can just use all these filters here. Yes, agreed. Ashim, Radhika, Shivam, Vinu. Here. And also, guys, when it is at lead level, at lead level, lead will not get converted to accounts or contacts until until you convert to opportunity. Okay, in the system only, uh, uh, in the system your account and contact will only be created if you convert that lead to opportunity. Salesforce, is it the same like Zoho? Yes, uh, we know every CRM is almost similar, okay? Some CRM has got more functionality, some CRM has not got that much functionalities. Okay, Salesforce is very famous and it's famous for its chatterbox functionality. Chatterbox functionality, which allows them to chat internally, drop a message and anyone can view all that. They have got this chatterbox, it's a very brilliant uh, thing that they have come up with. Now it's old now, they have introduced, they were the first one who have introduced and then Dynamics have copied them somehow. But Zoho doesn't have that till now, the chat functionality, okay? That's the reason Salesforce is treated, uh, it's on number one right now in worldwide Salesforce has beaten uh, Dynamics as well, Microsoft. Yes, it is way too cheaper than Salesforce, Hashim, way too cheaper than Salesforce. Okay. There are many CRMs, you know, now companies create their own CRMs as well internally. But, you know, they don't get all those functionalities and the flow is not that, you know, convenient. The flow comes with uh, the, these from these CRMs only. Right? So yeah, coming back here, you can filter the information guys, activities. You can capture the activities like callback. Can you see this? 
I'll just show you here. Can you see the task that you can create? You can give the subject, like whether you want to send an email, you want to call this person, meeting, send letter or product demo. Uh, this is also free to some extent, we know there might be many CRM, but I'm not sure. Sugar CRM was free earlier, but now I think again they have, they are paid. Zoho, you need, you, you can start with Zoho. Okay, if you don't have that much database, then you can start with Zoho. So this is the subject which you can select, like email, if you want to send the email, when is the due date, contact person to whom you want to send the email, details, the status, priority, what's the priority, whether you want system to send the email notification or not. And if you want the repeat notification, just get it. Clear guys? This is how you can create a task. Events, like if there is any event internally, like any meeting, any appointment, get response like didn't understand your question you know where can you see get response yes this is crm zoho crm we know Where uh, you have seen get response? Uh, I'm not aware of that, we know, I'm sorry. I need to check. Okay, okay. Get response. I'm hearing this for the first time. I need to check. Setting up e emails and sending them. Do we have to create tasks and activities? Man? Yes, Hashim, everything will be done manually. Not exactly, uh, we know this is not CRM, get response. It's for email marketing, like MailChimp. Okay, yes. Hashim, yes, you have to create manually. No, uh, you can import uh, all uh, leads in system, right? But uh, for every lead, you can create tasks and activities manually. Leads can be imported or accounts or contacts can be imported. Even opportunities cannot be imported. Only leads, account and contact data can be imported in CRM. Okay. Okay guys, so here you can capture all the activities. I'll just show you the backend now. Are you guys comfortable with lead? Any doubt in leads, account, contacts, potential? Are these all concepts clear guys? No doubt, okay. How about others? Okay, great, great. Okay, so I'll now show you the backend, how you can customize it. I can show you for Zoho right now because this is only we have opened. Otherwise, I know Dynamics, I know Salesforce, Sage, CRM. So guys, when you click here, this icon, right? Click on Setup, okay? Click on Setup. 
okay there you get to see general personal setting company details email users modules templates now guys to edit the forms the lead form the opportunity form you go to customization every crm system has this option in the admin level in the admin section or the setup section the customization okay whenever you open any crm just go at the administration and then go to customization okay customization and then click on modules So guys, here you can see all the uh, forms like leads, accounts, contacts, potentials, tasks, even these are all modules. Okay. And now if I want to edit anything in lead, I will open here. So this is the lead layout, guys. Can you see? If I want to add any new column, okay. I can select here the kind of column I want to create single line, multi line, text box, email, phone, pick list, multi select, date. All these options are available to create a new field. I can simply drag and drop here. Right now, uh, I cannot create a new field because already I'm using all the fields. Okay. So you can select the lead and drop it here and you can change the placement also, but by just moving it, just moving it up and down. Okay. The layout of the system will change. Okay. If you want to create a new section, guys, this is a new section student contact details student details address information we can create new section okay and you can just click here and drop it here okay and add fields to that that's it this is that simple but right now i don't want to create okay, i will not save this page So guys, can you see how easy it is to create fields here and add on the form? Every CRM is different guys. This is here you can directly add fields and see here in the form, whereas in different CRM guys, you can you will have different. First, you have to create the fields and you will have different tab for form. You will go to form and then add that field in the form, okay? Here it is different here. You can see in front only you can just drag and drop. That's it. It's that simple. Anyone can create. Make sense? Then you have accounts, potential. You can go on any and make changes. There are some uh, leads by system only which you can't edit. Okay, which system doesn't allow you to edit. And now guys, you can see here the drop downs. Okay, so let's say this column, I will go to settings. And if I want to edit the properties, I will click on edit properties. And I can change the drop down values here face to face online. And if I want to add new, I can add new. Yes, guys. So all the drop down lists you can change the properties of that and if you want to make that field mandatory like you can see here it says mandatory you just say required okay i can go to location and change the properties and from here also you can mark as required and if not, you can just uncheck that. And if you want to mark it as required. Yes. And then edit properties. And here you can see the list of the location. Yeah.
if you want to add new location simply come here wherever you want to add the this will add beneath this like this and i can scroll up and down also okay minus getting it clear guys and you can set the default value let's say i want gaziabad patel nagar to be set as default value i can set that you can see the next steps what what the next step this is just the required edit properties student or institute because we are visiting this is how and opportunity guys can you hear me hashim radhika shivam meenu okay guys is it clear the customization part is clear okay is it breaking for everyone guys oh okay just give me a moment is it still be breaking or it's better now can you guys hear me now clearly okay thank you shivam voice is breaking still breaking are you all facing this problem guys okay it's fine now great great thank you thank you so yes guys i was telling you about the modules so all these modules changing you can do from here okay organize modules you can see which module you want within the tab so guys here this these tabs you can see here and you can change the position uh what is zapier zapier uh, not no idea okay where where did you see that it's not the part of crm i believe uh we know uh can you 
tell me uh, what's your question like I'm looking for someone to help create a basic CRM through Zoho Creator that will sort add status leads based upon an established scoring system that will be pulled in through Zapier. Yeah, might be a web application. It can be any application they, uh, which they might be using internally, which they have got created on Zapier system. And when they want to integrate CRM with that Zapier. To help create a basic CRM through Zoho Creator that will sort add status leads based upon an established scoring system that will be pulled in Zoho in through Zapier. No, see any system can get integrated with CRM. You know, there are many web applications which company gets built or get it created internally, which they want to integrate with CRM for any XYZ reason. Okay. Are you a technical person, Minu? You know coding and all? Okay, uh, freelancer, like you freelancing what? Okay, okay, then what services do you provide as a freelancer? Okay, okay. Okay. So are you registered on Upwork? Okay. Great, good to know that. But yes, uh, CRM, uh, it's actually for this, for this job, you need to have the coding knowledge because then only you can integrate uh, CRM through Zapier. But on Upwork, you do get a lot of projects on Zoho CRM also. I've done a bit on Zoho CRM as a freelancer. Okay, guys, moving ahead, you can, yes, you can create users. Okay. So if you want to add a new user, you can create add new user, add their details, first name, last name, email, and their role, what role they will be playing, okay? And then the profile. Whether if you give them the administrator profile, they will get all the roles and functions that you have. And if you give them the standard profile, that means they will not have an access to the admin panel. They will only have an access to the front end and they can do the basics of CRM. Which programming lo uh, language knowledge is required to integrate the LMS to the CRM? LMS, uh, you're talking about leave management system, learning management system. It can be learning management, it can be leave management learning management system okay so that really depends on what technology learning management system is built if it is built on dotnet then you can uh, you know uh, is it built on dotnet
through .NET also you can integrate CRM. APIs are actually created which get sync with CRM. Does it answer your query, Hashim? Hashim, you there? Yes, yes. Companies use .NET, definitely. Many people use .NET for any web application. No, that is for web sign, but you know, for different uh, web applications, .NET is used. Okay. But now SharePoint has actually taken over .NET because what web applications, what, uh, you know, widgets that you prepare from uh, this .NET application, SharePoint is also a product from Microsoft, guys. It's one of the project product and it is very much in demand right now. You know, even in USA and if I talk about a UAE market, SharePoint is very much in demand. That's a product of Microsoft again, which allows us to create anything, any, uh, you know, widget. There are many widgets which are available, which is uh, for which you don't need to do any coding. It's out of the box in SharePoint. Have you guys heard about Office 365? Yes. Yeah. So SharePoint comes in Office 365 and you get a lot of applications out of the box and if it is not there, it is quite easy also to create in SharePoint. So now people are switching from .NET to SharePoint Pratika, which is updated technology now. And it's a wonderful product from Microsoft SharePoint. You can Google it, you can see the jobs are on SharePoint, number of jobs are available. Though it's, you know, supply and demand resources, they don't, people, companies are not getting resources on SharePoint. Okay, I spell like SharePoint. Okay, guys, coming back to CRM, then you have modules here. You can do automation. You can say create the workflow also, guys. Okay. So if I want to set the workflow in this on some action, system will automatically update the other information. So if I say demo attended, okay, system will check mark. Yes, demo is attended. So these are certain rules that you can create here in the system. So I can say for leads, I want to create a rule by the name of update demo attended. Okay, it's actually not available workflow. I can't create in this edition. Otherwise, you can create workflow processes in all the CRM systems which will actually help you to update some columns automatically. You can just define the rules here at the back end. Let's say you want at this, this particular action, this will happen. So if you want at this particular action, uh, an automatic task to be created for the assignee, the task system will automatically create the task on that particular action. And if you want to send an email, you can send the email. If you want to update any other field on that action, it can be done. So all those rules you can define here.
clear guys hashim radhika shivam vinu great guys if you guys have any queries please let me know now we can i can address your queries now because the things that i have to cover i have already covered sorry do you guys have any queries any doubt hashim radhika shivam venu Okay, great, Hashim. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hashim. I hope you guys like this session, and I hope it should be helpful to you in some or the other way. What will be the projects come in as freelancer? Like uh, the projects which comes for freelancer on Upwork, we know. for crm so yeah you get a uh, crm like people want to customize the whole crm you know they want lead form to be set up opportunity form to be set up mostly there are a uh, projects which is uh, which in for which we require coding you know but even i'm not a coder so i usually take only those projects where coding was not involved and if you have any friend who knows coding then definitely you guys can tie up and pick that project up and you guys both can work together you can do the configuration part and somehow he can do the customization part like coding part and then you can deliver the project this way also guys you can work if you get to see any project on zoho because right now i am not that much active on upwork but if you guys uh, see any project on zoho and if you need my help i can definitely help you guys yes in the paid version we you can write apis and integrate that api can you see here the api options extensions and apis yes hashim you're right all crm have the coding part APIs again, uh, you know, it's the extension, uh, like any web service, basically. I don't know the full form of this, but let me just check. Good question. Even I can get to know the full form of API. I just know it's the extension part, a set of functions and procedures that allow the creation of application with access the features or data of an operating system. Yeah. So, like you can write web API, list Java APIs. Okay, application programming interface. Yes, where you can write the code. Coding does it use some things like PHP? No, coding can be of anything like Java, PHP, HTML. Yes, Java is also part of this. C plus, yes, JavaScript, extend the JavaScript. Okay, okay. So definitely, you can see. First of all, you have to analyze what project it is. Okay, and. the what the requirement is and through which it will be met okay if uh, you get to see any project or if you want really want to work on that i can see if i can help you in any way you can share the details with me i can keep you posted over an email
sure, sure, we know you should try for the project. I can help you help you with uh, Sage CRM. I can help you with Dynamic CRM. I am uh, familiar with Salesforce, but not in that detail. Like with Zoho Sage, I just name it here: Zoho uh, Sage CRM, Zoho CRM, Dynamics CRM. But yes, definitely Salesforce. Every CRM is same. I have worked on Salesforce, but not to that level. I would say. So that goes at least. If the configuration part is there, then definitely I can help you with Salesforce as well. Though I want to learn now. Okay, of AdSense, my whole website is corrupted. It's not working. Not okay, yes, that does happen, Radhika. Now you have to write an email to Google people. because you don't get, uh, you know, AdSense approval that easily. There might be some problem with your website due to which it has got corrupted or Google has stopped it. Okay, write an email to Google. Okay, share your domain name, write an email to them. It's WordPress error. Sure, definitely we know I'll let you know. Definitely I'll share the contact. Have you copied any script also? Guys, can you not see my screen? Just plug and download. I don't know why it has happened then. It shouldn't be. Have you downloaded the same plugin? Uh, easy AdSense, right? Yes, in that case, you have to write the email to, I thought you have copied the code also. Yeah, just contact WordPress in that case. Or try after some time. Some problem with the plugin, I believe then. Because I usually use this easy plugin only, easy AdSense. Okay, it can be like list of startup companies in USA. Okay, sure, we know sure if I need anything, I'll let you know or if anyone contact me for this, then definitely I will let you know, we know. That's the great thing. Radhika, please contact WordPress people in this case. Even WordPress is not opening up. Otherwise, you can deactivate that plugin. No. Okay, then in this case, you have to contact WordPress people. Yes. Okay, and you can let me know tomorrow what happened. Okay. If you get any response. And we know all the videos have been uploaded. Please try uh, the link now because last night it started working at 12 o'clock. I have received your email somewhere around 11. Okay, because it takes some time also, you know, uh, to change the listing and give the uh, playlist assignment and all. So you can check that after 12 a.m. at night, it started coming up in the same bucket. The link I have shared, you can see all the recordings there. Okay, great, great. Okay, guys, are we good to wind up? Hashem, Radhika, Shivam, Vinu. I hope you like the session for today on CRM and I hope it also add value.
somehow either if you're looking for job or in your business then definitely okay thank you so much Venu. thank you Shashan. thank you radhika and thank you shivam for your time and for others for students on digital marketing we will connect tomorrow okay same time 8 30 with the same name thank you guys bye for now have a great day have a good night sorry bye and take care bye guys good night